Good morning, y'all. It's currently 5.56 a.m. and we're hitting the bins again. I might still have to get gas, so I'm probably gonna have to like fucking hurry up and actually get out of here. I had a crazy dream last night. I had a dream I was literally playing the NBA Finals with Dennis Rodman. It was wild. It was game six. And in my dream, I did like a leg workout before the finals, like the, before the game. So I literally couldn't walk. So you know in like dreams when you try running and shit, but you can't? It was literally that. Except I was in a game six final with Dennis Rodman. It was insane. But yeah, all right. I'll see y'all when we get there. All right, y'all, it's three o'clock and we are done with the first little half. Uh, we're gonna go eat real quick with the little bit of food I got and then come back for another two hours and then crush it. We got a ton of shit for 30 bucks. It's actually unreal. Like, I feel like this should be like a $60 haul, but it's only 30 bucks, Un unreal. Uh, also, this lady came up and gave me this pair of Hoka 1-1s, dead stock, brand new. So we're gonna go eat real quick, come back and then I'll uh, uh, recap. What we got? All right, y'all, it's currently 5.40 p.m. Just finished up, we got another $4 worth. And I was like, holy shit, only $4 worth? It's quite a bit. But he's like, oh, I gave you a discount because I knew it was your second time here. So shout out to him, that dude's a G. But anyways, time to head home and I'm about to show y'all what we got. We got a ton of good shit. What's good, everybody? So we are at home like the next day. We just got done uh, taking a lot of photos and stuff. So we got everything right here. And I'm just gonna show you guys what we got. Keep in mind, I think it was like 34 bucks and change for all of this. Like, like I feel like this would have been like a 50, 60 dollar haul at my old bins. I don't know why it's fucking cheap as shit, but uh, let's get her going. So this is a 1987. Uh, it's just like a PST, I would say. Um, on the bottom it says the Embrace. It's on the old Hanes BFT, uh, but it's like a PST what we need right now with all the fucking chaos going on in the world just pretty cool art tee uh this one is probably my favorite not even gonna lie uh it's like a 90s honda motocross joint i gotta soak it and everything look at that it's fucking like a jersey it's like a jersey tee i don't know i just love the colors i love honda motocross uh tees i've only found one before and it was fucking it was epic uh just like 90s motocross tees are so sick like the colors and everything uh, we got this Marlboro fleece. You see the little patch on the sleeve. It had a ton of like dust all over it, but I was able to get most of it off. Just gotta throw it in the dryer for like 10 minutes and it'll take the rest of it off. Pretty good little piece. Uh, this one, simple. I picked this up pretty, quite often. Like a $25, 30 foot uh, North Face women's wind wall jacket. Uh, let's see here. This one is pretty cool. It's like, a, I think it's early 2000s, but it's made in USA. Uh, it's gas friendly to gas free. It's a General Motors, basically from going from gas to electric, uh, innovative, pretty cool. Uh, this one's like a decent little like $20 Vineyard Vines. I've sold plenty of these. And we got a bag of like five modern Harley tees. Like I wish they were 90s, but you know, 15 to $20 each, pretty good graphics. They're all stacked together. So I thought this one's not that cool. You know, yeah, these modern ones, like 15, 20 bucks, basically free money. North Face Summit Series, see on the sleeve. Uh, women's jacket, the hood, pretty big, um, but picked it up. Next, this one's probably one of my other favorites I found. Early 2000s, it's like a silver tag. Nike spell out with the center swoosh hoodie. Uh, sold the crew neck version of this with just the spell out, not the swoosh. 50 bucks in like an hour. So I should be able to get 60 plus for this. This one, no comps on it, but this is like a guy I know, Marco Scandella, Minnesota Wild Jersey. Uh, you guys know I live in Iowa, so this is a big one. Pretty dope, super, it's like stitched, Reebok, 
I don't even think these go for any anything. I looked it up on eBay, couldn't find any, but probably be a personal dope jet. Another soaker I'm gonna have to do, but a 90s Chevy summer joint. Super sick. On the Onita Power T. Love that tag. That's a fucking nasty T. Next one, pretty fucking gnarly. 1985 Miami Mice. See the little timestamp down there. It is on a TJ's tag, but you gotta love the cut and sew on these 80s crew necks. Really good condition. Early 2000s, Nike Air, really simple. I posted on my story, it's an iffy one. Friendship tournament champions, what does that even mean? But the back, the spell out on the snaps and an arc above, pretty nasty little, little hat there. This one, UCLA Bruins, really clean crew neck. This Mickey Mouse fleece. Uh, this 1988 Hawaii shirt. 2004 The Doors, like a $15 flip, but worth picking up. This one looks super simple. Doesn't look like anything, but if you check the brand, this is a brand you want to look out for. Cool, it's a great brand. It's like a $40, $50 sweater and it weighs like nothing. This one I was pretty pumped about. It was inside out. 95, 96 Van Halen balance to her teeth. Doesn't go for much, but picked it up just cause it probably cost me a penny. It's like an eighties Harley Davidson bandana. This made in USA, Spitfire wheels, long sleeve joint, pretty dope. This one I was surprised about, Big Black from Fantasy Factory, the guy, RIP. This one goes for like 25, 30 bucks. Then we got this really nice soft shell TNF jacket. Really good, really good one. See me sell for like 70, 80 bucks. And then we got this, I think on the last bin. It's Polo Bear pillow cover type deal. Uh, these are actually really good. If you guys pass these up, you're making a big mistake. Gap overalls. Literally, just vintage gap overalls. There's only like one on eBay at a time and they go like fucking insane. Like there's one at auction right now with like four days left, like 20 fucking bids, it's crazy. Sold a pair before and I undersold the shit out of them. Uh, this one, you obviously see this. It's a Nautica Competition USA towel. Made in USA, really clean, couldn't find any flaws. Super dope. And this one's also a pretty nasty one too. 1989 Super Mario top. You see the little timestamp on the bottom. Right there. Yeah, that one's really clean too. And then this was the big one. Burberry trench coat. I got it authenticated. Uh, I forgot her name. My boy Pacerick, shout me out to her. Uh, yeah, Burberry London. Tags, check out. Really good quality. Just got a few micro holes where some, you know, where some goose feathers pop out, but you know, fucking Burberry at the bins. I forgot to show you guys these in the last clip, but these are some Hoka 1-1s. These are super good. If you look at the tag here, uh, it's the M Bondi 6s. These are literally fucking dead stock. Like it came with the insert. And uh, yeah, these are great shoes. Always pick up Hoka's. These had a $14.99 $14 price tag inside them. I don't know why no one would buy these. Dead stock Hoka's, like what are you doing? The story behind the Hoka's is like, I found one of the shoe and then this lady that was like cutting me off and stuff before, um, we got kind of got into argument. I, I don't not really an argument. I, we just kind of like agreed to like not talk to each other. She was like, hey, I have the other shoe. So then she gave me it and then she goes, you better, you gotta give me something now. It's like, what the fuck do you mean? Like, you can't just give me something and then say, oh, I need this in return after you give it to me. Uh, then she left, so I had to give her hand, but. Uh, moral of the story, give without expecting anything in return and you'll be happy. And we also got this 2001 LeMax animated hockey game. Uh, has everything in there. 53 cents this was. You know, it's not in season right now, but these will sell very good Christmas time. All of that for like 35 bucks, which is unheard of. So I'm so glad you guys see that. It's hot in here because I shut the door. But yeah, it's unheard of. I'm so happy to be back at the bins. 
happy to find my new spot. Hopefully that one stays open. Please, that'd be great. But uh, we're gonna keep hustling while we can, guys. Uh, don't take bins for granted. Don't take anything for granted. Keep your health and safety first. Keep grinding and do what you can. Uh, thank y'all for watching. Hit me up if you wanna buy anything. Uh, but anyways, much love to y'all.